Excellent! We have breached our enemy's walls! So today I'm going to talk about, well, I'm going to do a commentary on a bit of a goofy battle in Medieval 2 Total War I did today. Uh, and it was actually with my, my dad, and he is essentially a Total War noob. I basically made him get this game so I could mess him up. So essentially what we did was um, we did an LAN multiplayer battle. Uh, and we did the Reconquista scenario battle. And so I'm Spain and he is uh, the Moors, or whatever that is. Yeah, Moors. And so I kind of just decided to bombard with my cannons at first, use up some of the ammo, because I wasn't entirely sure how many men he had in there, because I've never done this scenario before. So I decided to just start shooting the cannons at the walls, uh, as is usual. And I, at this point, I didn't know he had trebuchets yet. But uh, once I started blowing down the holes, he was able to start shooting trebuchets at me. So I. By the blessed saints, our enemy's gates are down. That was quick. So yeah, I just uh, bombard with my cannons for a while. That was fast too. So one of the things I've noticed about Medieval 2, I don't know if it's my computer or if it's Medieval 2, but uh, whenever I start knocking down walls, especially with cannons, because you, the more cannons you have, the quicker you knock down walls, it gets really laggy. And I'm not sure why. It might be the dust particles and that, that weird, the, the crumbling motion, because it seems like once the crumbling motion is done, the, uh, the lag goes away. Medieval 2 is a pretty old game, but I, I really enjoy it still. I've only had my Steam account for a few years. But since then, I've played a decent number of old games that are real gems. Old is kind of objective, though. Kind of slow going at the beginning. I had more ammo, more cannon shots, so I decided just to blow another hole. As many holes as you can. Of course, I still have the two cold rings I saved.
Like I said, lots of waiting around because I wanted to use most of my cannon ammunition. No point in risking your men's lives until you've shot all your cannon cannonballs. Still haven't sent my troops. It doesn't hurt to be cautious sometimes. Of course, sometimes it does hurt to be cautious, but you know. Finally, I start sending in the troops uh, into the walls through the giant gaps I've created with my cannon. I was hoping I'd be able to shoot into the backs of the soldiers he was pulling away, but they were a little bit too far out of range, and I didn't want uh, Give grace to God. Uh, separate my crossbowmen too far. I started running in my crossbowmen and my uh, javelin throwers so that I could, once everybody was in, I could start doing a coordinated uh, assault of his troops up there. And apparently, apparently he knew he could still uh, put troops in the castle back there, but I guess he decided against it. And you'll, you'll, you'll see why in a couple minutes. Still gonna get all my cannons up there, my general's bodyguard up there. Maybe I shouldn't have put my cavalry right there because it starts to get a little cramped and you need a little space to maneuver. And uh, too many cavalry right there might not have helped a ton. At least until I could have moved him forward a ways.
I didn't even see those guys. I didn't even know where they came from. I was really confused. Because I did not see them before and they kind of just materialized. But uh, my cavalry made pretty quickly. But unfortunately they did do some damage to my crossbows that they <laughs> walked right into. I was hoping I could move some of those cannons up that had a few shots left so I could bombard his position on the, the hill there. So I started moving some cannons up. And then I finally got those, uh, those random dudes to rout. So I started moving up some other troops. Might not have been a, the best idea to waste crossbow ammunition on those guys there. My crossbow wound hadn't done anything the whole game, so I figured why not let him shoot a couple bones. Then I did send some cavalry over there over to the corner. Uh, that was just in case. Just for uh, safety measures, I guess. So if they did charge, I could kind of surround them a little bit or something like that. Then he started to send, a, like, one or two guys down here, so I just started shooting at him. Decidedly, that was a good use of uh, crossbow bolts. I did not see him start to charge, because I was trying to get him to pause for a minute so I could run and do something, but he just happened to pause literally while I was trying to go do something, so I did not, I did not notice that <laughs> he was about to send his whole entire group right down up, right down into my throat. So he was already halfway before I got back and realized <laughs> I had to move some people. And I still did not notice that all the soldiers he had on the ridge were coming down. And then I was like, wait, 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 wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I started panicking a little. And this is what I was talking about. It takes like two or three tries before you can even get your guys positioned. So I ended up sacrificing a couple of units so that my archers and, and those other guys wouldn't die. Which is kind of frustrating, but you know. I figured my sword and bucklerman would be able to hold those guys enough 
so that I could get my archers and javelin throwers to do all the mopping up. And while I moved all my guys back, those poor javelin throwers had to hold off the the whole bum rush, the new charge. All in all, those javelin throwers held off pretty good, all things considered. And I still have my cavalry over there in that corner. So that was, that was good. Except, cavalry charges are always really, really disappointing in, in castles and cities because they never seem to get, you can never get them wide enough to do enough damage, and they never seem to actually charge because they're always kind of winding around in the streets. So they never do as much damage as you want and take way more damage than they should. But you kinda have to work with it sometimes. So yeah, he did a classic noob charge. Not to say that I haven't done that before. But he just he just <laughs> sent all his guys right down in the middle. I think he knew he was gonna lose and just decided to noob rush. So I did try to charge my cavalry over there, but they ended up doing virtually nothing. Like I said. They don't really do anything when they're charging in the streets, which is really annoying. There must be some kind of a Pathfinder issue. But they kind of just casually ride in and, instead of actually charging. I saw that he had his trebuchets back there virtually unprotected, so... Since my other cavalry, my other horsemen didn't have anything else to do, I decided to ride him around and... Uh, pick off his trebuchets. At this point I realized that his noob charge wasn't going to be able to break through my sword and buckler, so I figured I'd just have a heyday over there with my cavalry only picked off his, um, his new charge column with my archers and javelins. And I was hoping I could uh, shoot at his blob with my explosive rounds and my cannons. But they, they do that annoying thing where if there's teammates or allies like right in front of them, they don't shoot. Which is really annoying considering cannons have arcs so they wouldn't just shoot straight down. I don't know. It's really annoying. That's another thing that annoys me about uh, Medieval 2. When you want to take a risk, and risk some of your men to blow up the enemy, it doesn't work. But when you don't want to take a risk, it still does blow up your, your, your troops. That's something they fixed with Napoleon XXIV. But it's much easier to blow up your own men without knowing it. Only half the enemy force remains.
then his new brush start, finally starts to break. So I'm able to push back a little bit. doesn't have that many men left at this point. And I don't have any siege equipment or anything, and there's really no point because he has so few troops. And right there you can see the cannons kind of just shooting whatever they want. Not because uh, they were out of ammo, but because the game told them to or something. I don't understand how they decide to just stop shooting. Or when that is. Oh, this is my jam. my dudes in to make the final blow because he wasn't even guarding the, uh, the entrance anymore and then I saw those guys there and then he kind of rushed because he figured what the heck why not and I was like oh I don't want to get all clumped up so I let him engage and pinned him down with a couple of units so that I could rush my cavalry around without getting trapped into combat. That way I could attack them from the other side without just getting everything clumped up. Execution. Kind of like North Korea. Execution by artillery. Oh, yeah. Except it did virtually nothing. They're so bad that they can't hit guys like a half a football field away. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to send in this extra artillery crew to take them out. And then when I tried to charge these guys, not only did they not retain the formation I wanted them to charge with, but they just kind of walked in, and it didn't do any actual charge damage, which is so annoying. So, oh, something that really bugs me. Will be awed by the victory we have the won end. here today. So, 
I was trying to see, I've never done a pure, like a saved recording, so I was trying to see if I could save this recording so I could voice over it, like record and voice over at the same time, but I accidentally closed out instead. So, see you guys later. That's it.